Sony has just revealed the PlayStation Plus games that are coming to the service in April, and to be honest, they're a bit mixed. I'm not particularly excited about April because the last couple months have actually been some of the best PlayStation Plus game months ever. Stuff like Legend of Dragoon, Siphon Filter coming back, even crazy stuff like, well, I mean, the world ends with you. Uh, I mean, really, really good stuff. Whereas this month doesn't suck, but... Let's talk about that. What's up, Gabers? Dreamcast Guy here. Hi, hope you're having a great day. If you could like this video and smash that subscribe button. So here we are over on Twitter.com. Keep in mind, PlayStation does things in a very peculiar fashion. They always do two separate announcements. First, they announce the current gen games, stuff coming to the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5, and the next week is when they'll announce the retro games for the premium tier of PlayStation Plus. So the essentials are Meet Your Maker, a completely new game, Sackboy's Big Adventure, which was actually a launch game for the PlayStation 5, and Tales of Iron. So. They also cut together this nice little trailer because, let's face it, some people probably haven't even heard of these. Meet Your Maker is completely new. This is not even out yet. It's coming on April 4th. Sackboy Big Adventure, a PlayStation 5 launch game that I actually bought and never played because I kind of feel like a jerk about that. And then Tales of Iron. Now, this little tease of it looked so good, I decided to Google it. Apparently, Tales of Iron came out late last year. It came to Nintendo Switch, Steam, and PlayStation, and apparently... People freaking loved it. The reviews on this thing are actually kind of insane, so I'm gonna check it out. But let's actually take a look at their blog post and break these things down. First up, Meet Your Maker. This is a very, very, very unique project. Build, Raid, Upgrade. Meet Your Maker is a post-apocalyptic first-person building and rating game where every level is designed by players. Switch between roles as you mastermind, devious outposts filled with traps and guards, then gear up for methodical, fast-paced combat rating of other people's creations. So it kind of sounds like, <laughs> it sort of sounds like it's Borderlands meets Mario Maker. It is an ability to construct big gauntlets that are hopefully going to murder millions of other players. Now, to be honest, when I first heard about this game, I wasn't really excited about it because it does seem like not my cup of tea. I am terrible about anything that requires me to construct, to get toolkits. If I'm trying to manually place trap buttons and stuff, I'm probably not having the best time. But I do very much love Mario Maker. And what I do with Mario Maker is I just go on there and play the top maps of every week. So the fact that this is here, I kind of hope that you can do that. I kind of hope this isn't just random maps. I hope I can actually select specific bases and attempt to beat those because it would be cool if there are some actually great player creations that are very, very devious. devious. Now here, uh, next up, Sackboy's Big Adventure. This game actually came out Oh my gosh, almost two and a half years ago, a lot of people have praised it as the best couch co-op game by Sony for the PlayStation 5 generation. Now, I do feel like a bad person because I purchased this game and I never even installed it. Uh, I meant to, but since I heard it was so fantastic couch co-op, I've been waiting to get one of my friends drunk to kind of blast through it in an afternoon. Now, this is basically a weird sequel spinoff of Little Big Planet, where people would make courses and then play them online. Now, this is much more focused on a designed, created world by Sony. Now, what's interesting is I have seen a lot of people discussing, is this good, is this bad? And a lot of people have actually been saying, Sackboy is great. It's very different from the typical Sony stuff. I mean, it's cool that <laughs> Mr. Sackboy, a lot of people are actually saying, man, it's nice that Sackboy is finally coming to the service. I've been waiting for Sackboy. I'm glad it's added. PlayStation always wins a solid W. This is a tinier month in my opinion, but this is still a good month for video games. Now, last we have here, Tales of Iron. Now, I do love this art style a lot, honestly, this like... Uh, uh, I've seen several games do this in the last 
year or so, which I know is just coincidence, but this like medieval painting style is very, very cool to me. It's very, very sharp. Tales of Iron, set in a grim land plagued by war, Tales of Iron is a hand-drawn RPG adventure with punishingly brutal combat. So it's Rat uh, Dark Souls, I like that. As Reggie, heir to the Rat Throne, you must restore your broken kingdom by brandishing the merciless fro- by banishing the merciless Frog Clan and their ferocious leader. Hmm, this actually sounds really, really, really cool. That sounds really fun. I'm definitely going to check that out. And they say here at the bottom, be sure to redeem your free monthly games such as uh, that currently exist. The last month, the March games can be redeemed through April 3rd, Battlefield 2042, Minecraft Dungeons, and Code Vein. The last couple months have been really, really good. This is a little bit lower tier. I'm curious what the premium games are going to be. I'm curious what the retro games are going to be because as it stands, as excited as I am about this, I'm always curious about the full offering of the service. I've been looking at a lot of replies and a lot of people are basically being like, all right, Sackboy is nice. After waiting so much, this is pretty nice. I actually held out long enough to get Sackboy for free. I guess I'm the only one looking forward to meet your maker. Hmm. It's nice. It's nice. It's a good chance to check out some other games that are a little bit outside the typical purview. But what do you guys think about this? Are you excited for the PlayStation Plus April lineup? Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. And be sure to keep dreaming. Also, thanks to the crazy, crazy, crazy love on this uh, Last of Us video I did yesterday, uh, talking about Last of Us being broken on PC, uh, that video blew the hell up. Thank you to the hundreds of new subscribers. Hi. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.